Okay, this is the first completely working prototype here. It's actually all sealed up with everything inside. Um, the screen had to be cut out here to make room for the full 8x8 LED matrix. And I've taken the Game Boy surround off because if I put it on, it kind of obscures some of those. So I have this spare one which is completely clear. It's going to need to be smoked a bit because the LEDs need diffusing, otherwise, they're way too bright. So, if I turn this guy over, power cable goes in here. Inside the battery box, which is still, covers still functional, we have an A plus Raspberry Pi. And what you can't see inside is the PCB that's driving the screen or the mechanics of the screen which is a Pimeroni unicorn hat you can just about see that there. So I'm just going to put a diffuser from a Raspberry Pi case over the top of this so we can actually see the LEDs a bit better on this phone and basically this is running a Raspberry Pi it's running a joystick test program so every button I press is going to tell me what I press up down left right Select, start, B, A, B, A, select, start, up, left, right, down. That's actually taken a substantial amount of time to figure out how to get all of this stuff in this case. This cut here is actually um, no longer necessary it was from when I was using this for something else and had a wireless antenna on there so I'm hoping to produce one of these with tidier cuts than my quick dremeling here one of these screens that's smoked out so that it fits perfectly and you can see all the LEDs and then we can write some games to this guy um, doesn't have sound it does however have uh, Wi-Fi networking so in the corner here connected to the A plus USB is a little Wi-Fi dongle. The Raspberry Pi itself is completely unmodified at this point. 